CIRK-FM, broadcasting from the West Edmonton Mall, playing the soundtrack of your misspent youth. Classic Rock, K97. Thank you, Rob, for rocking the airwaves in Edmonton for the past 30 years. Classic Rock. K97. <laughs> what's, what's, what's oh, I love it. It was a highlight yeah. of my day because we, we quit talking about potholes for a while and then we'd go talk about classic rock. It yeah. was a blast. No, really was, enjoyed it. Was it. Absolutely best. And you, Johnny, all these this years at, uh, at K97 and uh, now over Global, you've got your own health issues as, we, as we've talked about. And I'm, I'm sure you've talked about it on air. I, I, hope, I hope you uh, have. From time to time. Hey, do you remember when, when we had that Don me. Cherry impersonation contest? I do. That was so wild. Don Cherry came on the air with and us. Don Cherry came and on. And we had all these guys impersonating wow. him on Rob's show. Yeah. It was, we had a fun afternoon that no, day. It was, I mean, who, who would get Don Cherry on oh, the yeah, radio? Oh, yeah. Those are the days. Yeah, it's it great radio. Best. Well, it's no Nash the Slash, but... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What are you going to do now? You're retiring and... Uh, well, a lot of it has to do with Parkinson's. Right. It's not the it's not the sole reason that I'm leaving, mm-hmm. but it's certainly part of it because it's part of who I am now. Right. right? Definitely. So, so it's got to be a uh, and Edmonton too. You're a part of Edmonton and what people do in the afternoons. Well, there you go. And so you're going to be fundraising, raising awareness for Parkinson's. Uh, a, lo- a lot of awareness and a lot of, this five thousand dollars, which Terry mentioned the other morning with uh, when nice. we sat in with Terry and Pete at the uh, through the Little Miracles Trust Fund. $5,000 to the Buchanan Center, hopefully. Excellent. And uh, do some feet on the ground work to, as far as the boxing and the yoga, which is vital for me mm-hmm. personally. And I think, it, and, and they have the Parkinson's class that yeah. comes out and, and does the boxing, right? My rumpus room is adorned with K97 stuff. You see, you'd probably have all the more stuff than we have. <laughs> I have reams of tape. I do have reams of tape in my garage, but I've got to go through for it. For many you know. yeah. Good luck for, with well, that. Yeah, it's all me. But none yeah. of it's you. Yeah. <laughs> so. But what Someday. an incredible career you've had! I mean, you've you've interviewed uh, Alex, you know Van Halen, and you know those stories. You've got to know some of these guys, not just as an interviewer, but kind of you become friends with I told some you of that them. Alex Van Halen story. Yeah, I, I love mean, that. We were the same age, and we we kind of got that bond going right off the top. So he said, "Well, come down to the show tonight with Van Halen," and I said, "Make sure that I get to see." You. And he said, "Yes, just ask for me." So I go down, and I and but my program at the time, and I'm not even going to name him. He uh, he said, hey, "Can I come with you?" Because mm-hmm. I love Van Halen. <laughs> So I go, I go, yeah, okay. So we go down there and we have a pregame meal down, right down the restaurant with, uh, with the cooks and, it's, and the guys. And, and Alex comes around and he says, come on in. So I walk, we walked in the room. And as soon as we walked in the room, Alex goes, and he had his wife and kids there with him. So he said, come on in. So this, the program director immediately starts asking him questions. He pulled out a notepad. And he said, could you tell me some history of your, you know, how did it happen? And he looked at me and he goes, I thought we were just going to hang. Said, yeah, so did I. <laughs> Oh said, my Thanks God! Thanks a lot for coming. Can that you was imagine? it. Oh. Yeah, and that was it. Oh man! So that's anyway, great. that's another fascinating story, right, Todd? That it is, is fascinating. Good. Well, I actually interviewed Alex Van Halen. Is you remember that story? It was down in the bowels of the Coliseum. Yeah. And I went down there by myself. I begged an engineer, could you come with me? Because I'm not sure this, I'm going to hook this up right. Yeah, oh, it'll be fine. You know what you're doing. And you remember back in those days, we had those antennas. They were called the Marty antennas, right? They mm-hmm. didn't work worth crap. <laughs> no. So I get down into the bowels of the Coliseum. It's just me and Eddie in the dress, or Alex, rather, in the dressing room. And I'm ready to go. And we start the interview. I check with you because you're on the air. We're going live on your show. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's good on this end. Okay, away we go. I'm talking to Alex, and I immediately hear in my headphones, the sound that we are no longer on the air. Uh-oh. So I had to pretend to interview because I was too embarrassed to say, "Oh, Alex, I'm sorry, we got to." So I pretended that we were still on the air. To pretended to do the interview. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, I don't know. You were back in the music and probably cursing me. That's uh, but it was like, oh my! It was, that was one of the lowlights of yeah. Speaking of Alex Van Halen, what are you going to miss most about this business, Rob? Yeah, really. St- stuff like this. Who gets to spend most of their adult life just laughing? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's true. Literally, speaking, and listening to music. Speaking of yes. laughing, I have a little audio here because you know a lot of people think of you as the consummate professional. I don't know why. <laughs> but, but, but listen, listen to this. Free your tickets for free, Jack! <laughs> free New Jack. Mick Jagger movie! <laughs> and it's uh, coming up next week. <laughs> anyway, it starts uh, <laughs> immediately <laughs> and Anthony Hopkins. <laughs>
<laughs> Man, nobody would lose it on the air more than you. When you started laughing, it was over. That was game Especially over. Sharky involved. Oh, I wonder. Yeah. Hey. And you probably don't even realize this, but Kevin Carius wanted to pass along. You know, it's a big hello and congratulations on your retirement. But uh, our sports department, including our whole newsroom, we've adopted one of your sayings, and this has been going on for how long? 20, um, 20 years. Say twenty plus years. Yeah, and this is like we do, do copy you. Like I don't know if you realize this, but in the newsroom, this is, this goes up all the time, right? What give us give us a, a little. Hey buddy, hey buddy. That came directly from you. We use that in the newsroom all the time, and that's right from Rob Berg. That's funny. Remember the time you guys are going on location? Uh huh. On on the radio, five o'clock in the morning, middle of summer, the windows wide open. Right. You slow down in front of our house. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> anyway, that's uh, just you know a what we had, we had a lot of fun together, and I we hope laugh, it doesn't man. discontinue even now that you're off the air. Yeah, today. today. Terry Evans here. Uh, we've got John Sexsmith, Gord Stanky from Global, of course, and uh, Todd James behind the board. Yeah, and hey, uh, j just want to say we have somebody on the phone. Uh, go ahead, Kevin. Kevin Lowe calling. Want to uh, congratulate Rob. Uh, I guess we have uh, one thing in common anyways in terms of longevity with one company. But yeah, uh, there you go. congratulations, man. What a story. You've been around here a long time. Is this going to be the year? <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah, that, no, things look good. Uh, I think the boys learned a lot from last year. Uh, they seem to be pretty dialed in. I know it's only training camp, but there's lots of good signs. So we hope it's going to be a fun year for everybody. You know, the fans and the city, everybody, the others are such a big part of it. As you know, it's the days after a win, everybody's walking on the clouds. And the days after losses, uh, the city seems to be down. So we need some good news around here. Kevin Lowe with us, everybody. Before you won your first one, could you tell the story about walking down to the dressing room and seeing what the Islanders were doing after they won? So that would have been 1983, the first year we went to the finals. And, you know, we pretty much cruised through the season. I think we finished first overall in the league. And, and then we had a really good first three rounds of the playoffs. And I think we all thought we were just going to win the Stanley Cup. And then, of course, the, the Islanders eliminated us four straight. And uh, the story goes that, uh, you know, Wayne and I were walking out after the loss on the island and, and walking down past the Islanders dressing room. And, you know, we were looking pretty good. We had our suits on, you know. Figuring, all right, the season's over. I'm going to go have some fun. And then looked into the Islanders' dressing room and saw the players that were still, a lot of them still sitting in their, peeled, some of their equipment peeled off with ice bags on their shoulders and their knees and looking pretty beat up, you know. And, and uh, it, it quickly dawned on us that uh, maybe we weren't paying enough of a price to really get to that final goal of winning the Cup. So I think it helped us as a team focus, knowing how hard it is to win, and uh, even that much harder to win as many times as the Islanders had. So you have to learn from your experiences, I, and I think just fast-forwarding to this present uh, edition of the Oilers, I, I think the guys last year, a lot of expectations early and, and maybe perhaps got ahead of themselves, and it's it's a tough league. The game's changed so much. The league's changed. It's almost as hard to get into the playoffs as it is to win the Stanley Cup. The nice thing about it is if you do get in, anybody has a chance to win it. And that, that wasn't the way it was when, you know, in our day. In our day, the reality is 16 teams made it, but maybe four or five had a le legitimate chance to win it. So I think the guys recognize now how difficult and how important it is in terms of being ready. And, and every game's important to, to, just to get into the playoffs. Six Stanley Cups to his name. The great uh, Kevin Lowe with the Edmonton Oilers. Do appreciate it. All the best, huh? Hey, all the best and congrats. I hope that uh, all the years to come will be as enjoyable as your long time with K97. Well, let's make the playoffs first, and then we'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you, Kevin. Take care. Take care, man. Thanks. Can you handle the pressure? Make it through the pressure test and get your hands on a share of over $50,000. Your first chance is coming up on Monday morning at 735. On the all-new Terry Evans Show with Pete Petivko. Details at K97.ca. There we go. George Stanky from uh, Global News, ace newsman in our city for many, many years. You're going to be leaving right away, and I, and I do appreciate you, you and John Sexton coming down to see us. Oh, we wouldn't have missed it for, for all the tea in China, as they say. But, um, I, do, I do appreciate it very much, but this is, uh, so this is one of my last traffic reports Oh, with George Stanky standing oh by God, with I'm a live update. For this, this is amazing. Okay, so, it's good timing. Um, so you're, you're good to go at Global. Yeah. 
And I assume you're still on at five and six. That's right. We're still on at five. And see, now that you're retired, you'll actually be able to watch what we do. Yeah, I'll this call you. Be good. Between Ellen and Dr. Phil, I'll call you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, call me anytime. You got my text? Yes, I, I yeah. got you. All right. Well, so now, now I don't have to call you and tell you what our lead story is because you'll actually be there. Exactly. I'm Perfect. with you all the way, man. Want to wish you all the best. I thank you so much. It's you been a pleasure. It. It's, well, we'll talk again. Oh, yeah. We'll see you out in the road in the motorcycles. Okay. Absolutely. And don't forget the cash. <laughs> Always. George, thank you, everybody, right there. Yeah. Timeless. Legendary. Classic. And it lives here. Classic Rock. K97. Simply the best. Congratulations, Rob, on rocking Edmonton for 30 years. Classic Rock. K97. Classic Rock. K97. Welcome, everybody. Rob Berg here. Terry Evans with us. And Todd James is here. So a little over 10 minutes away from ACDC, uh, the greatest live track, in my humble opinion. Meanwhile. Hello, K97. Go ahead. This is David Go-Go calling. David Go-Go. <laughs> we got some history, you and me. We do. And I was thinking about that. We had that fabulous, was it three or four days together? I remember I was very pleased to co-host with you and, and we spoke on air we had some people phone in for some interviews and we had uh mr tom wilson he of the blackie and the rodeo king slash junk house fame yeah we had the uh the late great mr jack layton then in charge of the uh yes. democrat party that's right and we also spoke with little steven yes one of the great interviews little steven and the stories he could tell fantastic oh man David Gogo with us everybody and we talked as well and i and, and here we go i'm going to talk guitars now one of the great guitar players in this country, blues guy, you, you name the genre, uh, David Gogo can play it. Uh, who is, outside of yourself, a guitar player that you would say, yeah, that guy's got it? Um, man, that's you putting me on the spot now. Well, you know, it's funny, I, I just did five shows with uh, Wishbone Ash, the yeah. legendary UK rockers. And, man, these guys, they got the twin guitars going on. In fact, I think they're played up at Sherwood Park the next day or two. Yep, yeah, they, they are. are. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, and, and, and it was fantastic. We, we were just loving it because it was just, like, really great classic rock. But my go-to guy that's still living is Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck, he's the guy, huh? Yeah, he just he just seems to get better and better. I mean, he's the guy that Jimi Hendrix was checking out in the 60s, Yeah, and he's even better now. Are you uh, going to do any shows out this way in the next while? Man, I've been trying. I've got a new album. Here's the shameless plug. I got a new album coming out October 19th, and and I was super excited. We were trying to get out there. We just couldn't get uh, things aligned. But um, I will be up there soon. It, it's just been way too long. You know, I I love playing up there, and, and we've always done well. And I'm looking forward to you know rocking the new tunes, man. We will be there to watch you. <laughs> Sad to see you go, but what a great job you did. We show up. That's what we do. That's our motto. Uh, I listen to this guy. Evans is there, right? He's standing right here. Yeah. Can you believe this guy? Yeah, it's because it's not about Rob when it comes to Rob Berg. It's about everybody else. It's yeah. about the team. It's about everybody listening. That's it's right. about his friends and and, uh, and everybody else. Well, I'll tell you, it was sure a pleasure working with you that one week. That's the only week I've ever actually had a real job. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to continue to practice my scales, and I'll talk to you later, Dave. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. All right, David, go over there. Thanks, Dave. Hey, everybody. Beep, 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 yeah. It's head to crank it. ACD3 is coming at you here. Meanwhile, on K97 on the road, 4518097, phone or text. Is debt weighing you down? The Credit Counseling Society is a free confidential service that can help. Visit nomoredebts.org and get debt off your back. This is CIRKFM, Edmonton, broadcasting from our studios in the West Edmonton Mall. And this is what we do. the soundtrack of your misspent youth classic rock k97 this is acd at three on classic rock k97 there you go unbelievable final acd at three hmm. might be rock for sure uh here for uh wild wing sherwood park Ride of the game and back on the Wild Wing express just five bucks and turn all football home games into a party with great pre and post game specials there you go. More on Retirement Day. 4518097. Phone or text everybody. Pink Floyd, K97. He saw Led Zeppelin when they were opening for bands. He's been rocking that long. Thanks for 30 years of rocking with Rob Berg. Classic Rock, K97. Classic Rock, K97. Headstones, Rob Berg, and uh, Reminiscing Day. Retirement Day, if you will. 
Looking back in the good old days. It's a shame we can't remember anything. No. You know, when no, uh, you were saying earlier, nobody saved anything. No. You know, some of the, Why would we? But to sure some of the uh, memorable interviews that you did in, in your lengthy well, career. Well, I mean, this, we all... This is, this is right up there today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it was a pretty big day. You had Gordon Steike, you had John Sexsmith, yes. you got Terry, you got me. Yeah, the, the old days. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Yeah, exactly. I'll say it again. <laughs> the, the good old days, when you started doing this for a living, it was before the days of... Uh, Instant internet. You had to wait like, you know, 45 seconds to log in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Come on, man. What are you, instant internet? What about USA Today, the day after? Remember? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you had to actually read an encyclopedia to get the history of a band. Mm-hmm. You know, it was the just... The Rolling Stone Encyclopedia of yeah. Rock. There, it, yeah. was, it was there. It was yeah. just genius. You either knew it or you didn't know it. Yeah, you know? I guess, and, yeah. And, or you looked it up. If you could find the Encyclopedia of Rock, because somebody was always stealing it. I don't know who that person was. It wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Mind anyway, you, I did take a lot of albums, I have to admit. My, part of the album collection that I eventually sold for a song, was a good chunk of it was from here. And a lot of those guys that were on those records came through the building. Yeah. And you'd think a guy would keep something. Yeah. yeah. Somebody would say, Dave, you'd keep the interview? And No. You know, I, I do have one picture of myself interviewing, uh, and it, not a big name, but the Georgia Satellites, Dan Baird, right? So somebody took a picture. He was in the control room, and uh, his head's cut off. So it's just me and half of his head. So like, who's that guy? Somebody with a and mullet. I think it's uh, George. <laughs> that uh, can't be Dan Baird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> be Dan oh, Baird. Man. Yeah. Same guy that served you coffee at Starbucks last week. Same guy. But I know what you wanted to talk about when you interviewed John Candy. You talk about okay. big interviews. Okay, I'll do a quick thing about John Candy. He was. They had just bought the Toronto Argonauts, and he was coming through the building for an interview, and uh, it was earlier in the day. And I saw him in the hallway, and I said, like an annoying fan, John, I'm Rob, we're doing the show this afternoon, but it's too bad you're not going to be here so we can do the interview. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, just go into that room there and start the tape. This is John Candy. <laughs> I wait a few seconds, the door opens. Hey, Rob, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> he did this. He did like 10 minutes on his wallet, John Candy. And then shortly after, of course, it was all over, but... Uh, Brilliant, and it was one of the great days. Yeah, I remember the day he was in. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Did you keep anything? No. <laughs> I don't know. Did you get a picture with him? I did not. No. This was way back. Celine Dion. I distinctly remember it because she had the tightest black outfit on I had ever seen previous to that. I was like, wow. Take it easy. And she was like, what, 19 at the time? Something she like wasn't that. very old. She that was a long She could hardly speak English. That's right. But she yeah. was so, so nice. She hadn't even got her teeth fixed yet. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> she had the, teeth coming out of her eyebrow. You, you know, it was like... <laughs> Terry, doesn't he seem like he knew, knows a lot about the young... <laughs> the young? Sleep, yeah. As long as you don't bring up Alanis Morissette, then, uh, you, <laughs> then I don't have to wait in on the conversation. Uh, I, w- what's the Alanis Morissette story? Yeah, just uh, uh, Alanis Morissette wanted to party one day, and I just happened to be the only person left in the room, and it was super uncomfortable because she was 15. Oh, Where was this at? Wow. <laughs> this was in the building. Downtown. Was, yeah. yeah. I, I had to say, well, I have to use the washroom. And then I went around past Lori Hancock's office and got the hell out of there. I didn't want to be in there oh, anymore. Man. I think we all remember the day that Tragically Hip came in and recorded their video. Sure, Last, Last American yeah. Exit. Last American Exit. And yeah. that's yeah. still on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think any of us got into that video. Dave Baker did. Except he for was Dave Baker. Music director uh, at the time. But I, I, I do remember uh, that day, Vip, they were there and they were they were cool. And it was like, yeah. who, are they, who are these guys? They're tragically, huh? we hadn't really heard of them. That was before they had released anything. Sure. Oh, of course, yeah. That yeah, was like 87, something like that. Yeah. 88, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's when it was. Yeah. I was talking to Robbie Baker a couple weeks ago about that. Well, you just trying to bring this up now? <laughs> yeah, nice name drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking with Robbie Baker. Yeah, we're just yeah, hanging. Robbie. Were, yeah. you, were you buying dope off you? What was you doing? <laughs> no. How are you talking to Robbie Baker? You do pal his or what? We just, we, we had lunch. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I had lunch with Robbie Baker. Wow. That was the day I met the Prime Minister. Yeah. Are yeah. you serious? Yeah. Because lunch with Robbie met, Baker. They, and well, then they know the... each other. We were in the same hotel. Justin, over here. We're sitting over here. <laughs> it was weird for me, too. Don't get me wrong. I got a couple of pals that are so anti-Trudeau, their heads just exploded just now. You yeah. were mentioning his name. I work with a guy uh, every morning. Who <laughs> is the not, not, not a fan. Okay. Yeah, there you go. The Classic Rock Road Trip Sports Edition. To see Connor and the boys open the season in Gothenburg, Sweden against New Jersey. Congratulations to our grand prize winner. Chris is five hole. Gary is blocker. And Gary wins.
It lands on Blocker Gary as your winner of a trip or two to Sweden for K97's Classic Rock Road Trip. I can't believe they're fantastic. Oh, wow. I don't know what to say. The Classic Rock Road Trip Sports Edition was brought to you by Met Credit and Classic Rock K97. All right, guys, here we go on the road. 451-8097, phone or text. Be cool. It's Friday, of course. You know what's going to happen. It's, it's, something's going to happen. But it's Friday, and something always happens. That's usually about 4 or 20, usually. <laughs> Coincidentally. I'm not yeah. saying. I'm just saying. Yes. Uh, Access Insurance understands that life can throw you curveballs, but your auto insurance should not. Get a quote at accessinsurancegroup.com. Access Insurance, your SGI Canada broker. Curveballs. You know, that struck me as odd. That's the first time I've noticed that. That's an odd word. Curveballs. It's not. I just, it's two words. Just It's two words. But curve in itself is not bad. I think, tr- I think truck nuts is a weirder word, but <laughs> you go with curveballs, whatever. <laughs> curveballs. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that all day now. Well, this is going somewhere that we didn't want it to no. go, but that's fine. We'll continue to roll. Uh, now, if you'd like to talk to us, uh, Terry Evans is here, Todd James, and uh, 451 8097, everybody. Todd, Monday. Filling in the big shoes of Rob Berg. Well, keeping people updated on curveballs in traffic. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Our program director just came in and marveled at the fact that there's over 100 years of radio experience in this room right now. And all we could come up with was, was curveballs. Speaking of 100 years of experience, this shows you. The skill that it takes to get into this business. Let's go back, say, 30 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you're going to play it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't this know. Okay. Only, Here well, we, well, yeah, this is your first year. 1988. Rob Berg. Coming up, Cheap Trick, with their latest 231. This is Rob Berg. If you're looking for something a little extra special to celebrate this weekend, it's uh, National Nude Weekend in the U.S., the Naturist Society down there. It's a countrywide organization. They hope the event encourages people to don their birthday suits as well as providing committed nudists a chance to uh, get together and share in all the good times. Just too darn bad we don't have that society up here, huh? Oh, Committed, man. committed, committed nudists. nudists. <laughs> <laughs> Just too bad, huh? <laughs> that is quality. Oh, oh, man. Classic <laughs> Rock Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Classic Rock K97. Sounds like this. And this. For 30 years, Rob Berg has been rocking the airwaves on K97. Today, we don't say goodbye. We say thanks, man. Classic Rock K97. It is uh, Classic Rock K97, the Tragically Hip featuring Terry's friend, Rob Baker. And, uh, Lord, I don't. <laughs> the hip were all of our friends. It's yes. Really no, hip. you're right. You're right. You're right. There's no question. they got history. Speaking of October 17th coming up, that's the not only the date yes. of legalized marijuana, also the anniversary of Gore Downey's death. Isn't that weird? October, October 17th. 17th. And, and the rest of the band, he would have loved that. He would have thought that that was just fantastic. Sure. Of course, yeah. You ever talk to him? Yeah. yeah. Talk to yeah. I never met him. Yeah. He was a, he's a great interview, actually. I was intimidated to talk to him because he seems like such a smart guy. He's and he is a smart guy, super but he's, smart he's pretty guy. easy to talk to. And it was uh, bizarre talking to him from time to time because you, every once in a while you catch yourself and you see your, your reflection and you say, holy cow, I'm, talking I'm, to I'm having a conversation with Gordy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember after another roadside attraction. Uh, we all did. What's that uh, movie theater downtown that got turned into a pool hall? Paramount. Paramount. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after another roadside attraction, we went downtown. Oh, yeah. That's and, right. And yeah. uh, the after party was at that uh, pool hall. Right. And we played uh, pool until mm. uh, I had to go in the next morning. I was there until like quarter after five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> playing pool with uh, Peter Garrett from uh, Midnight Oil and oh, yeah. uh, Gordy Downey. Isn't Peter Project Garrett League? like nine feet tall? Yeah. Like your height? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember a party at, uh, at my house, and at that time, I had carpets and a white cat. Yeah. And uh, you had a remote the next day. Oh, God, I remember that, yes. <laughs> That's when we had to wear suits to remotes. You had to wear a suit to a remote. <laughs> we did, yeah. Or I remember, I had a skinny tie. Yeah, yeah. skinny yeah. leather tie. Skin, yeah, sure, yeah. And, and for some reason, you had your suit on. I don't know why. Maybe you came from a remote, remote and then you had another remote. Anyway, you were there, and, and you, you may yeah. have had a little bit too much. Looked, I looked down at my legs, my knees, and I was sitting on a chair right in front of me, and I looked around at my knee. My knees were covered in cat hair. <laughs> White cat hair in a black suit. <laughs> And my elbows, the same thing. And I'm thinking, this does not look good. (laughs) How do you cover that up? No, you can't. doesn't work. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah. th- that whole building, especially the old days downtown, it was built on parties. There was always a party going on. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I and, remember playing yards, playing football, throwing football. Uh, it was a roast beef wrapped in, in tinfoil in the parkade. <laughs> it was a certain place downtown. I don't know what it was. It was that one party room where the, there was the stairway that went up to nothing. Do you remember oh, that one? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. We were in the parkade leaving there. Mm. The parties uh, in the old days. At, like uh, the crazy. Old and you, usually I would, you know, because I would have to do the, the late shift. So I would show up, oh. drink mass quantities because <laughs> I'm pretty fast. I remember. Quick. Chuk, 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 chuk. <laughs> and, then, and we were downtown at the time. So we, yes. I could usually I could just walk back to the station and then I'd get on the. I remember uh, first my first break of getting up. That was the queen. <laughs> that was the queen. <laughs> yeah. And then the next thing you know, Todd's head's on the control room board yeah. and was literally sleeping in the control room. But nobody thought anything of it because no. that was just That him. was normal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Classic Rock K97. All right, we're on the road here, everybody. 4518097 for uh, updates. Uh, we had a, a, an issue at Hende South at 16. Hende South at 16. Nice job, Todd. Thank you. I'm um, working on it. The <laughs> Nissan Claret event is on now. Get the best deals yet on 2018 models with 0% rates and Claret cash offers. Visit your Prairie Nissan dealer today. So you're on Monday. Yeah. You got everything I'll under have control? this all figured out by Monday. It's been, it's been a while. Aren't you the guy that trained us? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. There's we too sh- much chit-chatting going on in here. I'm losing my focus. Oh, uh, man. That's, we're talking about parties uh-huh. in the old school days at, uh, with K97 from the downtown building. It was always an event. Everybody went to the party. Yeah. That was a big deal. Well, wow. the, our Christmas parties were legendary. That's when I mean. we had them at the Petroleum Club, yeah. those were incredible. Well, it was, plus, I mean, it was after my first wife, in between, sort of in between, but there was the staff only Christmas party that oh, happened yeah. from time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Up at the Four Seasons <laughs> yeah, Hotel. That's when everybody goes yeah. a little quiet when they yeah, remember. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're taping this edit later, right? <laughs> Good thing this is not live radio. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> if you've got some stories, guys, you'd like to talk to Terry Evans, is with us, and it's so neat Terry sitting in and, and Todd James learning the board again and <laughs> and um... this is CIRK FM Edmonton broadcasting from our studios in the West Edmonton Mall and this is what we do playing the soundtrack of your misspent youth classic rock K97 Rob Berg is Classic Rock, and Classic Rock is K97. Thank you, Rob, for rocking Edmonton for the past 30 years. Is that Rob? Yeah, go ahead. It's Whitehead. Gord, oh, are you kidding me? Come on. I'm just on my way to go and sling wine for a living now because I can't afford to be at radio anymore. But uh, congratulations, Rob. Well, I, I learned from the master. <laughs> yeah, right. Sharky, of course. Chucky, yeah, that's right, yeah. I just, I hopped in the car and I turned the radio on and you guys were talking about the parties at the Four Seasons. Now, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Gord Whitehead previously with CJCA and, of course, with 630 Chet, yeah. but Gord is a legendary in our city and he could tell you stories about parties. We just skimmed the surface, Gord. Come on, you're the guys that taught me how to drink. Come oh, yeah, on. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask, though, did, uh, you mentioned the Four Seasons, were you, any of you guys around for the ones at the Westin? Uh, uh, is that the one where the stairs went up to the ceiling? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it was the Crown Suite, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crown yeah. Suite, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, uh, well, well, I said those were legendary parties. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's exactly. leave it at that. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That's right. Great stories, man. But you're good, Gord. You're under control. Uh, yeah, I won't keep you. But listen, all the best to you, Rob, and good luck with your health challenges. And uh, anytime I ever run into I hope we can sit down, have a beer, and have a few laughs. Hang in there, Gord. Thanks so much. You bet, pal. See you, man. Yep. K97, Queen, under pressure. It is Classic Rock, K97. Rob Berg, everybody. We've got Terry Evans here with us, Todd James. And, and we should point out that this is this is your final day, in case yeah. you're just tuning in to K97. Yeah. Uh, Bergie announced his retirement. Wednesday morning. Was it this week you announced it? Yeah. It was, man, it's like, bang. And this is your last, this yeah. is it. Hanging up the microphone. Hanging up the headphones. 
It's time. Walking off into the sunset. We talked earlier about superstars that come through the building or, or rock and roll bands. We just heard Queen. Mm-hmm. I don't know about the... They must have been here. Did you, are there any one of you guys see Queen at, at the Coliseum? Not with Freddie. No, I saw Not him. with Freddie? No. What do you mean not with Freddie? You saw... Oh, when they with, came after, you mean? Yeah. And that wasn't seen. With Adam yeah. Lambert. No, it, just, it, it wasn't... The best uh, part of the show was when they put up the video of Freddie playing, and then you go, ah, oh, why don't yeah. they just have a hologram? Like, mm-hmm. you know, Roy Orbison's here, like, next month with a hologram. That's right, yeah. But the, why don't they just do that? Because you can't replace guys like Freddie Mercury. Yeah. As Who, good as he may be, Adam, what's his name? Adam Lambert. Levine. Lambert. <laughs> I forget now. Adam, who's Adam no, Levine? No, 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 Adam Levine is the Maroon 5 guy. No, right. right, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I can't voice guy. Anyway, yeah, he's a good, he's a great. Singer, but he even said at the show, "Hey, I'm no Freddie Mercury." And uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. He didn't need to tell us. Yeah, thanks. For, I mean, thanks he's for... great. He's a fantastic performer and singer. And I can't remember his name. You know, the uh, American Idol guy. Adam Lambert. Yeah, that, that's Lambert. It, it is a Lambert, isn't and, it? And now that I think of it, I didn't even see Queen with him. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean Brian May and Ro- Roger Taylor are fantastic, and uh, while well, John Deacon left the band, yeah, ages ago. Mm-hmm. But anyway, digressing. Go ahead. Continue. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we were talking earlier too about uh, the whole era of classic rock. Mm-hmm. When, when is classic rock? When did it end? Well, that's that's a good question. It's uh, something that people bring up to us all the time. You know, working at a classic rock radio station, some people say, you know, I've 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 heard my fill of CCR, and uh, other yeah. people can't get enough of it. You know, that's a, we, that's why we do uh, music research and find out what people are digging, and, and that's why the music you hear on K ninety seven is the stuff that music uh, you know that has been researched, and people tell us they want to hear. Yeah. That's why we play it. I think yeah. if you're going to define classic rock, though, I mean, if you're going to call it an era, it's got to be sixty five to uh, probably eighty. Well, see, you and, might you might go as far as ninety. And for but me, I still say, wait, wait, John, I just want to say one thing: that classic rock. It's a misnomer because it was just rock. It all started with classic Coke. Do you remember when they came out with it? It's true. They came out with new Coke. Mm -hmm. And look what happened to classic Coke. Which was horrible. And then they came back with classic Coke. And, and then everything t- became didn't taste classic. Like the original Coke, but you're right. The, the and then every, everybody, moniker. everybody glommed on to that title, classic, and then suddenly it was classic rock. For me, it was uh, you know I was born in 1964, and you you, you know you, t- you talk about the years. For me, it was uh, grade uh, grades five, six, and seven. So that would have been 76, 78, uh, 76, 77, 78, because that's when that's the time when I had the, yeah, the I, newspaper. It's, it's going to be different for everybody in I Vancouver, and I, I had my transistor radio that I got. Uh, from the Vancouver Sun because I had so many subscriptions and I got that and that was hanging on the handlebars of my banana seat bike as I was driving my big paper route and I was listening to Elton John and BTO and Fleetwood Mac when they were first coming out and and the Eagles and Boss Gags and that all that you, stuff that was you, brand new. That right? to you is classic rock. Well, that's, that's that for me that was the beginning because I wasn't into the Jimi Hendrix Black Sabbath when they first came out. That happened beforehand. Yeah, yeah. And, right? and there was no classic rock radio in in Edmonton, or what would we would call now classic rock radio station, there was just top 40 stations until K97 signed on in 1979. Yeah, but Bad Company was in the top 40. And, and that's, <laughs> that's true, the, but that's know. what, you know, I mean, there was such a, a broad spectrum of music yeah. that you would hear on top sure. 40 radio. But, but classic, what is it for you? What, well, what rock? Classic rock to me ended in 1971. I, I, 71? Yeah, yeah. Didn't Machine Head come out in 72? Because I, to, for me, I'm thinking... Okay, 72. Okay. <laughs> I didn't go yet. You got... Uh, the San Francisco Haight Ashbury hippie movement in '67, Summer of Love '67, Monterey happened in '67. Yeah, '69 you had Woodstock, of obviously. Yeah, uh, that's why to me 1969 yeah. is the greatest year in rock and roll mm. because Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, and Janis Joplin were also alive. The Beatles were still a band. Yeah. The Rolling Stones had Let It Bleed. Clapton was playing with Blind Faith. There was uh, Easy Rider movie came out, which changed a lot of things for a lot of people. Yeah. It was it was a defining year. I think sixty nine is is gotta be it. You were exactly right, and I completely agree. The thing was I was five. That's so, the difference. Yeah. So that's that's what well, that's you, why mine third, is yeah. six years later, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Right, yeah, make, yeah, I was seven. Seven years later. So so like Todd said, it, each it changes for everybody, right? Yeah. That's their classic. What classic what class. was the first album you bought? Jimi Hendrix. It was. Yeah. You? My aunt gave me T Rex Electric Warrior. Nice. Wow. And that was That's a good one. that was the first, you know, the stuff that that we view as as uh, classic rock today. That was the first one for me. For me, it was uh, salute to your aunt. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Auntie Daddy had, was uh, the best. I actually found Abbey Road. I didn't buy it. <laughs> Beatles Abbey Road. And I can, and it was scratched. It was beaten up. The cover was half ripped, and the record was it had skips. And to this day, 
when I listened to a track from Abbey Road, I still remember where it skipped <laughs> on that original record that I had, and I can still I, I expect it to skip. That's so funny you say that because I remember when the remember when it, an eight track used to change sure, sure. You know, oh, click yeah. and change right. tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to remember like the knacks, uh, get the knack. All those eight tracks that we had in yeah. the wood paneled Parisian station wagon driving around <laughs> in Crested BC, and I knew exactly when it was going to switch tracks into Kisses Detroit yeah. Rock City. Yeah, I, I think you know, just about every. Everyone has a different memory and a different experience and probably a different idea of what they consider to be classic rock. It's an organism that is still growing, still evolving. This is the uh, anniversary this week, as a matter of fact, of Abbey Road. The greatest album cover in history is Abbey Road, I think. Yeah, I think you might be right. Let's consider playing the okay. Abbey Road we'll we got a few anyway, minutes. Anyway, <laughs> Phone or text, everybody. Let's roll. Pass the pressure test. And get your hands on a share of over $50,000. Your first chance is coming up on Monday morning at 735 on the all-new Terry Evans Show with Pete Petipko. Details at K97.ca. Beep, 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 yeah. right, here we go. On the road, everybody. We had that issue. Yellow at East at St. Albert Trail. Also, that dead bus coming out of the U of A, 114th Street, 76th Ave. Hideous. 4518097, text or phone calls here. Trim your emissions and budget with Mitsubishi Motors Plug Incentive. Save $2,500 on the purchase of an Outlander PHEV, the world's best selling plug in hybrid SUV. Welcome, everybody. It's uh, Rob Berg. Terry Evans is here. Todd James is here as we uh, reminisce, retire, whatever it is you call it. Moving on. And K97 is uh, so proud and happy to still have him with us. Headquarters back in Toronto, I believe now. Yeah. Former right. program director with K97, Steve Jones. Hey, Rob. How you doing? Man, I'm so glad you took my call. Like, what do I win? Listen, man, I, I was listening to you guys as I was I was driving around after work here, stuck in Toronto traffic, listening to you guys on Radio Player and, and hearing you talk about your first albums. And You know, mine was Billy Joel's Glass Houses. And I arrived in Edmonton in 98 from a country station. I had no business being handed the keys to K97. And somehow I was. I remember meeting you and hearing you on the air and uh, you just exuded everything that was K97 and everything that was rock and roll and classic rock and working with you was an education every day and what it meant to be cool. You know, to this day, I think I, I had a chance at being successful there because of you and because of people like Terry and Todd, too. And you guys give a kid a chance. and You were just an amazing person to work with and learn from. And I'm going to miss working with you, brother. You've been a fantastic influence in my career. I just want to say thank you for everything you've given to this radio station. You know, I think we've been part of, uh, of your career for 20 of the 30 years. Yeah. And you have been an amazing colleague to work with. And we're all better for working with you. Put yourself in, in the program director chair right now as, as we speak. And if uh, the jocks uh, put on a, f a 15 minute medley by the Beatles, <laughs> would, would, you, would you come screaming down the hallway with steam coming out of your ears? Or would you sit back and yeah. enjoy? At this point, knowing what's going on in that studio today, I would sit back and enjoy. But if uh, any other day, I'd probably expect a call from that uh, a hole at corporate in Toronto. That's what I figured, yeah. <laughs> Steve Jones, everybody. For anybody that doesn't know him, he's a vital part of this radio station and this, and this company. And uh, we honor and respect him so. And thank you, Steve. Thank you, man. You have a great retirement, brother. See you, pal. Hey, Todd, Terry, yeah. this could be the last time... Which is weird, but this could be the last time I say, classic rock, K97, there's Rush. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's kind of scary. I mean, they're doing this for a long time, and they've been there like every day. They sure they have. Haven't, I don't think they've missed a day, no matter what format, or you could call it uh, Rush, never missed a day. You know who else has been here every day? Just answer the phone. Yeah. Hi, it's K97. Is that Rob? Yeah, right here. Go ahead. How you doing, man? We're going to miss you on the air. This wouldn't be the famous Tom Cochran. This is Tom Cochran, buddy. That's what I thought. We're in a blizzard here in uh, northwestern Ontario. We're fishing. There's some buddies here from Wisconsin, and they do this every year. They have done it for 50 years up here at Big Cannon Lake, and it's just, the fishing's crazy good, but it's uh, these guys are on, more than honorary Canadians, let me tell you. They're intrepid, man. They just yeah. don't stop. Blizzard, snowstorms out in the lake mainly lake trout and then some bass. Tom Cochran with us, everybody, today. And Tom, I got a question for you. We were just talking about classic rock. For you, what is the uh, the year or years that classic rock defines for you? 
probably those post years, you know, the years when I kind of thought, well, you know, I'm out of that cycle of writing a record, making a record, you know, producing a record and then promoting it and, and touring it, you know, and then the cycle would starts over. You're out of work. You, you start a new record, right? And, uh, you know, like a new contract and you're a contract worker. And I was blessed, you know, because the record had obviously you know, success and got a chance to keep making records. But then all of a sudden, you know, probably that mid nineties period was, you know, this classic rock thing started up and we got so much support from it. And, and you guys have always been there prior to that. I mean, through the eighties, you're a big part of our history and we really appreciate it, but you know, it's been a great ride and, and Rob, you've been part of it, man. And uh, they're going to miss you there and, and I'm, I'm going to miss you. So, uh, but you're around. So it's great. But you know, I know that you love doing what you do. Yeah, best of luck. Take us back to one of my early memories of Tom Cochran at the, the old radio station downtown was the symphony sessions. Take us back there to that time when you how that came about yeah it was a seminal moment i mean that was uh, probably one of the most people most love and most dear to people's hearts and just brilliant the biggest regret is we didn't film it there are two wonderful days well actually three counting the rehearsal day and george blondheim hope this gets out to george because he's such a dear friend what a great arranger and conductor so that record has really stood the test of time and people always bring it up and uh, yeah we were one of the first to do that uh, of course the great procol harem did it with, with the edmonton symphony back in the late 60s early 70s and we actually had some people that were still in the orchestra from then if you can believe that it was amazing what does that do to you when somebody says the legendary Tom Cochran? Like, I just felt, I wasn't going to call you that, but I, I, I have to. What else am I, what am I, I, I going to say? I look over my shoulder and I look around to try to see who they're talking about. That's what happens. I go, oh, there's a legend here. And I look over my shoulder. Yeah, I, it's very nice. And uh, I appreciate that. And I appreciate every moment. I, and my- We're losing the line here, Tom. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to let you go. He's gone. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Yeah, fantastic. That was, that was yeah. amazing. He's, uh, he's a legend. He is a legend. That word has been used about you this week. We're hearing that a lot. Yeah. The legendary Rob Bird. You looked at our Facebook page lately. Yeah. No, not lately. <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> really? It's Facebook. Classic Rock was born on vinyl. So let's drop the needle and play something off the record. Spun by Record Collectors Paradise, the largest buy, sell, and trade destination for all genres of vintage vinyl. With new arrivals daily, click recordcollectorsparadise.ca. Let's go to the album, Abbey Road. This week, it came out in 1969, everybody. This is what kicked off the record. One of the most famous. It is the Beatles on K97 vinyl. Lots of great K97 Beatles off the record. Vinyl, Abbey Road, the album. Todd uh, is here with us, Todd James. I know Terry will be back in a minute. But Todd, the uh, the phone's been going crazy asking for, why didn't you play the medley? Well, I, I thought you said not to play the medley. I'm blaming you on this one. Um, Meanwhile, here we go, everybody. Thank you so much for being part of this. Uh, as we say goodbye to you, uh, 451-8097, phone or text. Terry and Nelson have stopped in to see us here, our close friends with the K-87 TELUS Ride for Dad. We've been involved in this with our friends, John McNeely, Gary Crawford, Big Mike. I call him Big Mike. He was like Mike Tabler, right? Mike right. Tabler, yeah. Just part of the committee that started the whole ride. In 2007. Yeah. And Nelson and Terry have been, the work you do behind the scenes is unbelievable. And here we are. You bet. 2018 and ready for another ride. Ride number yeah. 13. You know, you've been there since day one yourself and Gord Steinke and uh, been great supporters, honorary captains uh, coming out and riding with us and promoting the uh, what we do. And we just wanted to come in on a special day like today and say thank you for uh, everything you've done for us. Uh, we truly do appreciate yourself and uh, K97 for uh, their support over the years. We uh, brought a nice uh, plaque, oh, just a, a word of appreciation for you, for everything you've done for us. And I oh. uh, uh, hope to see you out there riding still with us. And oh, yeah. uh, all the best to you in the new year and all your new ventures. As we said, Terry, many times before on the ride, during the ride, pre-ride, day of, whatever the case, look after yourselves and get checked. You know, one in eight male uh, will get prostate cancer and... So we're just out there letting people know that uh, guys are always proud. They don't want to go to the doctors because they always feel healthy and that uh, they don't need to get checked. But, uh, you know, uh, we've had a couple of success stories the last couple of years in our rides that families or even riders have gone up to us and said, thank you. Uh, Because of you, I went in and got checked and uh, they found early detection. They were able to to beat it. And, uh, you know, that just echoes throughout our whole entire ride. That's why we ride, right? Terry, yeah. Nelson, the job you do is amazing. We're back at uh, Blackjacks we're, we're again. We're back at Blackjacks, yeah. We got our, 
got a few events coming up. Our typical silent auction night will be down on May the 4th. And then our ride weekend is uh, Saturday, June the 8th, riding out at Blackjacks again. Uh, check our Facebook page, and uh, rideforDad.ca has all the information as well. So Outstanding. So good to see you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank all you the again. Best. <laughs> from the that, Italian bakery? <laughs> chocolate-covered donuts at 5 o'clock on a Friday. Thank uh, you, Mercado on Boudreau in St. Albert, across from the police station. There, there. Beauty. Outstanding. K97, hello, everybody. Let's go to the phone. K97, go ahead. Hi, is this Rob? Hi, it's Gene Simmons from KISS. Okay, here we go. Gene, good to talk to you. Great to talk to you, too, Rob. Is today your last shift on the air? Yes, 30 years later. 30 years. Yeah, man. It's, it's... And I want you to know, this might be the most exciting moment of your career, talking to the greatest rock star of all time. Yes. Yeah. Because who's the number one band in rotation at your radio station? Well, Kiss would I'll be... I'll answer that for you. Okay. Kiss. Kiss. All right. There you go. <laughs> Yes. So, of course, to be talking to the greatest rock star from the number one band on your station is an honor, is it not? I heard you and Paul Stanley were having uh, at odds with each other the other day. What, what's going on with that? Well, it was kind of crazy. We actually, I hate to admit this, we got in a huge fist fight. Can you believe that? Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons in a fist fight. There's actually video of the fist fight. Would you like to see it? <laughs> Yes. Who, who wouldn't want to see that? <laughs> That's what I said. Who wouldn't want to see that? That's why if you go to kissonline.com, right? Oh, my God. For the low price <laughs> of eighty nine ninety five, <laughs> you can watch Paul and I smack the crap out of each other. Yes. Right now at kissonline.com. Yeah. Click on my cod piece, and I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's Craig Gass. When I heard that you were uh, doing your last shift, I uh, wanted to call in and, and say congratulations on 30 years of radio. And thank you for always being kind to me when I came in to join you up there. Craig Gass, one of the brilliant comics of our time. Before you go, you got to do Pacino. You have to. I got to tell you, I pay tribute to you by pooping in my pants. <laughs> <Ooh>, <laughs> Oh, man. It's worth, everything's worth it right there. Congratulations on a great career, buddy. Come out and hang out with me the next time I come out there to do a show. We'll be there for sure. Craig Gass, everybody, right there. That was outstanding. See you, Craig. All right. Congrats, buddy. I'll see you. Classic Rock K97. Under the boardwalk, John Cougar Mellencamp on K97. Two minutes past three o'clock. Satellite weather, just about perfect this afternoon. A little breeze, 20 degrees. Hot tomorrow, too. Sunday's high, 27. How are you? Good. <laughs> we're off to a good start, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we're ready to roll. Remember, Joke Day's coming next week in the drive. Oh, I can hardly wait. Outstanding prizes. Okay. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? I don't know. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? No guts. No guts. <laughs> you got some funny lines. Unfortunately, they're all over your face. Good one. Okay, here we go. Then we should... <laughs> Keys machine. That's classic. Is that not classic? That's fantastic. <laughs> Don't start. Premature traffic there. Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. On the road here at 4518097. Phone or text. We had a stalled bus. Bus or van? Yeah. That'd be a van. Okay. Stalled van on the high level. That's not a laughing matter. From many years ago, ladies and gentlemen, Sharky. Congratulations, Rob. Fabulous. 30 years. Thanks, Sharky. Beautiful. <laughs> is debt weighing you down? The Credit Counseling Society is a free confidential service that can help. Here we go. Visit nomoredebts.org and get debt off your back. There, I did it. See? Thanks, Shark. It's good to see you again, man. You haven't changed a bit. It's great to see you again. <laughs> Classic Rock, K97. Hello, everybody. It's uh, Terry Evans is here. Todd James. My name is Rob Berg. As we roll, 451-8097, phone or text. Hi, it's K97. Hello. This is Paul speaking. Who's this? Oh, my God. Oh, is that you, Rob? And he's here. He's here on oh, Sunday night. Rob, on, yeah. You're going to show up, Rob. This is unbelievable. Or are you already going to be on a trip, yeah? Paul McCartney, everybody. 
Are you going to be on a trip, Rob? No, seriously, because when you go on re- retirement, people always figure, well, I'm going to leave town right away because I'm done, you know? No, no trips, just chilling. Okay, then. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm happy for your retirement. I'm not happy for me, but I'm happy for you. And I hope you have a wonderful time, and we'll see you on Sunday night, yeah? Every time I see you, 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 you have this energy that's just contagious. Well, I'm getting a little bit grayer and a little bit slower, having a little more trouble occasionally hitting them really high notes. But other than that, I feel pretty spry, yeah? How many times do you think you performed Hey Jude? <laughs> I've never kept track, Rob. I've never 11. kept track of how many times I've, I've sung anything, really. No. <laughs> you and John, I heard, uh, were quite close. Well, we were for a while, and then we weren't. And then we tried to get back together again for some stuff, but it was, uh, yeah, once you parted the ways, you know, it's not that easy. No. To just put it back together, yeah? It's an extravaganza at a Paul McCartney show. It's, it's legendary. It is hard to cheat, you know, because it, it's not, you know, I'm not, I'm not a chicken anymore, you know, like 70, I'm not even going to say how old I am, because that may, that might freak people out. You see, really that old? Oh, he can't be that bloody old, yeah? Is John Lennon, could you uh, put him into your head somehow and, and, uh, and, and bring him to life right now? Um... Do you want what do you what do you want him to just to talk or do you yeah. want him to sing or what do you want him to do? Just to say hello to John. Oh right, I got a second. Hey John. Hey John, hey Jude, hey hey you. <laughs> Take this, sir. <laughs> hello, Rob, is that you? John You look like you. <laughs> you look at prettier all the time. Are you good? Are you good you're hanging in there with us? Oh yeah. Me and the Lord are getting along great. It's been a long time. Oh yeah, it's been a long time. There's people that miss you badly, you know that. Yeah, I miss a, I miss a few of them, too. <laughs> what about Yoko? Do you miss Yoko? I miss Jerry Evans quite a bit. I ah, love yeah. his sense of humor. I've heard that before, yes. Yeah. You know, this is K97, we've played your, your music for forever, you know that. Well, it's good, you know, I'd like to last forever if I could. Okay, John. Is there anything else you'd like to... Would you like Paul back then? Would you want to talk to someone else? There's a bevy of people here. Keith Richards came by, didn't he? Um, I'm not sure if Keith's here or not. Let me have a look, hang on a minute. It's not in the shit. Keith! Hello. Hi. <laughs> Keith Richards. Burton retiring, yeah. Yes, Keith I Richards, everybody. Retiring. Now he's retiring, yeah. That's what this is about, for Jackson. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to swear. I'm sorry about that. Um, 30 years for you is nothing, though, Keith. No, uh, rumor has it I've not been around for 30 years. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. What a legend you are. Hopefully you're going to get back to see us one of these days in Edmonton. You know, I'm not sure I'll be able to go up and down the catwalk as quick as I could a few years ago, but I'll, I'll make an attempt to at least move, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any particular thing you'd like to... Before you I can't go... really sing anymore that good, you know. But, Be- although some people argued that I was never really that good anyway. <laughs> Before you before you go, I know I know you're you're, you're tight for time. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's gonna, he's gonna die on your retirement. Day. In in the uh, in the room with you, uh, I was heard earlier that Jack Nicholson was was there. Is he is he there? Oh, uh, Jack. Uh, yeah, actually, he was in a pretty sound mood earlier because he was. Um, I'll pass him on to you. Hang on a second. Okay. Just a minute. Oh, it's a superstar alley here. It's crazy. You're dead for me. You're dead for me. Good. Thank you. Rob Berg. Jack. Robbie, 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 Robbie. Jack. Oh, my God. It's so You're good to... retiring. Yes. I find that hard to believe, Rob. I'm a bit upset, too, because every time I used to come on your program years ago, you always promised me 42 bucks. I never got that 42 bucks, Rob. You never paid me. I know, but Jack. I have no idea why. Jack, it's a pleasure to talk to you, man. It's so good to hear from you again. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. I'm a lot older now, but apparently so are you. The thing is, I thought you retired a long time ago. You're so laid back on the air, I can't believe that it's still you. Anyway, (laughs) good to know that that you're still gainfully employed. (laughs) Okay, Jack. You lasted a lot longer than I thought you would, you bum. (laughs) You bum. (laughs) And she's a bum. We're gone, Jack. We're out of here. I don't blame you. <laughs> Jack, thank you, and thank Keith and Paul and, uh, and John, and we appreciate it so much, okay? Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, you're listening to Rob Berg on K97 Classic Hits. K97. This is it now. Last traffic update. This is it. Wow. It's come to this. And we're good, I think. Other than 97th Street, but we're not sure where. 97th Street, northbound somewhere. Somewhere on 97th I'm guessing, Street. I'm guessing off the yellow head, uh, coming up the yellow head, that's just, that's just a guess. Well, coming from, that's an educated guess from yeah. a guy who's done 30 years of traffic and problems on 97th Street. I think that's a pretty good guess. Yeah, it, it could be there. So we'll leave that with you, everybody. 4518097, phone or text here. It's only rock and roll, but we like it a lot. Classic rock, K97. All right, guys, it's come to this. This is about it, huh? Ty James, it. Terry Evans, everybody. It's uh, I'm so glad you guys hanging in with me this afternoon. It really means a lot. Well, it's been a, a pleasure and an it's, honor it really to be has. here for you. 30 years comes down to one final break, huh? Yeah. Don't well, screw it, it up. It all, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, hopefully, you're, hopefully you're not taping this. <laughs> well, I am now. Anyway, it's been, uh, it's been a ride. I, as I said before, um, I, I just got really, really lucky. Well, we've been lucky to have you, man. We really the, have. The whole city. I mean, when I say we, I mean, you know, here, our staff, our management, uh, you know, your compatriots, uh, colleagues on the air, but uh, the people who've been calling in, Facebook messages, tweets, texts, the whole nine yards. Every, everybody has been uh, responding to you the way you treat truly deserve it, and that's with nothing but the best for and you. I want to say on a personal note, I mean, uh, we became really good friends, almost yeah. instantaneously. I've never laughed as much with uh, another human being as I have with you over the years. It's just, uh, man, we had some fun. The, the bike trips. <laughs> you no, know. I, I don't want to talk like stuff's over, but no, when, I, when I, I think we'll, back, we'll when see. I, when I think the old days, you want to call it that, uh, mm-hmm. when I first met Todd, it was like, Todd, you were like 26. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I don't even remember. It's it's just a blur. It's an, uh, who remembers their twenties? But you know what? I do remember the first, like you. Uh, I think I had just uh, I had some something horrible happen in my life, like they, it normally does. And I remember you and and Sandra invited me over for Christmas, and then that meant a lot to me. And, and we've been fast friends ever since. Here, here's one. Here's a Todd James story. This, <laughs> no, this this is not going out of school because this happened a long, long time ago. The old building down in 99th Street. Todd right. walks into the across from the control room, the production uh, room, on, on, the Street, uh, yeah, on oh, downtown. downtown. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a little production. Yeah, room. yeah. So I'm sitting in there, and Todd walks in, and he goes, as as Todd is apt to do, he was upset about something. <laughs> and he walks really? in, he go, and he goes, and he goes, oh, Rob, what am I going to do? I can't pay my Eaton's card. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about, Eaton's card? He said, I'm paying like 28% interest. I said, I can't keep up to the effing Eaton's card. So I said, what are you doing? I bought a couch. It's almost wore out and I'm still paying. I still, I'm going to pay this forever. So I tried to help him with his, with his financial situation. Yeah. Paying off his Eaton's card at 28% interest. That's one of the, and that was going back a long time. Uh, long I still have time. that couch. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, oh, it was, uh, and, and Terry uh, has been it's a mainstay um, for the most part. <laughs> the, odd, the, odd, the odd break here and there, you know, stuff. Sporadic stuff, mainstay. Stuff happens. <laughs> stuff happens, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's such a huge part of this radio station in the city. K97 brand, for me, it, uh, it was strong in my heart in 1988, and it continues today, and I think it will continue for, for, the, for the longest time to come because it, uh, it means something to me. Well, it's strong for a big reason because of you, you know, 30 years. Yeah, so thank you. It's pretty cool. And 30 is a good number. So I want to go out now with uh, a song that I don't know why it, it hits, it strikes me, uh, uh, it hits me hard. It always did. Speaking of 1969, the title track from the Rolling Stones album, It's the Way I Want to Go Out. So buenas noches, compadres. And I'll see you down the road.